Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, I'm going to check out some of your comments on, your, on the videos and I'm gonna review some of my emails. Now, you're gonna watch me do this. You know, if you've watched Above Life Channel for a while, that I do read my comments and I respond when I'm able to. Before I do that, I wanna tell you two other things. <laughs> One is, I have been watching, like, so many other people on YouTube, this, these beauty influencers. Have you been watching those beauty channels? Like, there is a really big collaboration series with Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star is like a beauty guy, and Shane Dawson is like a YouTube conspiracy guy, I guess. He didn't start off that way. My kids actually knew who Shane Dawson was, so I recognized his name from back in the day, like eight years ago. Anyway, so I started watching this series that he's doing about like how the beauty industry works, and I was fascinated by it. How are you? Are you guys watching that? Comment below. So I did my makeup special today. So check it out. Seriously, I even like lined my lips, which I don't usually do. And I did this really cool thing. <laughs> this is why I have so much makeup on. I guess I wanted to tell you that. <laughs> I did this really cool thing with my eyes. Like I brought my, um, one of my colors down underneath my eyes, which I don't usually do. And I wore my fancy mascara. Anyway, all right, all right. So there you go, there's that. There's that for people who comment on my, on my appearance because that's one of the common comments I get about my hair and the way I change the style of my hair often and um, so, and that's really sweet. I appreciate that or, or something I'm wearing or that kind of a thing. So I do see, I read your comments. I read your comments. Okay. So today I want to start with putting my glasses on. I said I was going to tell you two things. Um, I can't remember what the second one was. Oh yes. I was going to share. Okay. So before I get into the actual comments and the emails stuff, like you're just basically watching me like in one of my days in one of the mornings here. I have to work tonight. I have a group that I'm doing online tonight. And so I have some stuff to do for that. Um, but this is kind of how I do my day. So now I'm, I'm checking out all my stuff, businessy stuff, right? So you're just watching me do this, all right? So before I do that though, I wanted to say thank you to some beautiful client clients and viewers. So some of you have had session with me privately and some of you just are great, great supporters of the Above Life channel on YouTube and my work and thank you for that. And so I have, I'm gonna wear these during our video today, if I can get them in, these great earrings that I got from someone who is an Elvis fan. And the earrings are from Graceland. See, they're from Graceland. Can you see that? There you go. And then they are taking care of business. Oh wait, here, here's the thing here. It's kind of jiggly, sorry. It's TCB, which is an Elvis thing, taking care of business, I guess. And so she's one of my viewers who is also a client. So thank you, my dear, you know who you are. Thank you so much for these. Yes, you sent them to me a couple of months ago and I have not done a video about them, so thank you. She also sent to me this a really cool Elvis mug. Isn't this awesome, you guys? It's awesome. And it's right from Graceland. So isn't that cool? That is so awesome. I thought that was very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. All right, so thank you for that. That is very sweet, I appreciate it. Okay, so. I have fans all over the world, and I'm gonna use the word fan, I guess. I wasn't intending to do that. I was consciously trying not to use the word fan, instead to use the word viewers. And so, cause fan sounds like you're famous, and that's kind of weird to me a little bit. That's a little um, like scary to me. I'm really not interested in being famous like that. So, but I appreciate the love so much, you guys. I appreciate it. Oh. And I love you back big time. Thank you for watching the channel. So this is from somebody from Brazil. Isn't that cool? I have, I know you guys are from all over and I love it when you tell me where you're from, so thank you. But this, this, um, this is Alessandro from Brazil who sent me the sweetest, kindest email. And I read this a couple of days ago and it just made my day. It was just so sweet. 
So I want to say thank you to Alessandro from Brazil. Let me see if there's anything in here that you guys would appreciate about this message. And what, what he was talking about was, he was talking about um, uh, staying true to myself and encouraging me to ignore the haters and the internet trolls. And it was just a really sweet, it was in response to haters. So I, let's talk about that for just a second. You guys, on YouTube, oh please, on social media, oh please, of course you're gonna encounter people who are super negative because sometimes people who are really needing attention or not, just really feeling so not good about themselves, need to seek attention somewhere. And, and social media does give attention. So sometimes you will see on the channel some hate, hateful comments or mean comments or comments that are really shallow, like lack substance to them. Please just ignore them. I know it's hard to do that. Oh, I know it's hard to do that. Oh, I know, I know, because it's kind of fun to like get into it and correct them and be like, uh, no, and tell them why they're wrong or that they're not welcome here, that kind of a thing. I know it can be like, it can be fun to do that, but try to not because it just makes it worse. It makes you feel icky really after that. And it's just not, it's not worth it. Uh, most of the time I try to get those, um, comments off, but I don't always see all of them and I don't quite frankly have time to delete all of them either. So just to try to ignore them. Please try not to engage with the trolls. I know it's hard not to and believe me, I've had a lot of experience with them. And in fact, really big, um, had a infiltration of them a couple of months back from another YouTube channel, had basically sent people to my channel to promote their channel and also to, I don't know, it was like this weird gang mentality, like us and them kind of energy. And it was so yucky, it was so yucky. So cleaned that mess up. And by the way, that's why I stopped doing live streams. If you have been watching me for the summer, you know that I was doing live streams and I was loving it, but I just, I did not wanna be able to have to deal with all of those people posting other people's channel stuff on my channel and being mean and trying to stir the pot kind of a thing. And so I I just stopped, I figured it was just best not to say anything about it at that time and just stop doing the live streams. And I do small group work and private group work and most of the time trolls won't, won't pay to attend anything. <laughs> so if I do small group work, and do some things in the future. I'll probably have um, like an admission fee or something like that, um, just to eliminate the people that aren't gonna pay to hate, basically. You know, it's kind of crazy, but. All right, so that's that. So thank you, Alessandro. And I responded back, I sent him a really beautiful email back because I was so touched by this. So I appreciate that. Okay, so I have some more here that I haven't read. Let's see, you guys tend to, if I get emails from you, it tends to be from um, really personal experiences that you wanna share with me that are psychic or experiences that you've had for yourself in your life, like if you've struggled with addiction or if you've had experiences where you've lost like someone really close to you and you just feel like, and you had like an experience with them from the afterlife, a lot of times people will share that story with me. and so. Just know that I read, I read that and that it is a safe place to share with me. That's totally fine. Even if I can't reply personally to your email, I read it. So just know that, that it is received. Okay. All right. So here is an email. I'm not sure where this person is from. Um, let's see. So this is common how people will email me. All right. So hi, Bridget. I still don't know what to say but I wanted to share this with you. Um, and so then they start you know, sharing this story. Now this person is asking about 
Um, oh, this person, this is funny, actually. This is a funny one. This is a really cute one. Okay, so this one is, this person is telling me that their dog watches me. <laughs> and I know, you guys, that sounds like a, a spoof or crazy or whatever, but she literally took a picture of her dog watching me on television because you can do, you can connect your YouTube and watch it on um, Roku and such, you know, you can watch it on television, the screen. And she said her dog watches me and so she took a picture of it and she said i don't know why but he just stopped chewing his bone and listens to you <laughs> i'm like oh great i am not an animal communicator i think it's so cute that she did that that she shared that with me i'm not an animal communicator though you guys i don't specialize in that but if you have an animal that is on the other side that I sometimes I can see them in session, but I do not specialize in that. That do not contact me for animal communication only because I, I don't do that. All right, but anyway, I thought that was really cute. Okay, so yeah, I remembered this. I think I did read this one. Um, this person actually was brought to me because of Freddie Mercury videos. Many of you as well. I always like to know where people, what what brought people to my channel, especially if I'm doing private sessions with them. It's really cool to know who what was that one video that you just oh, just really related to or connected with so this person was freddie mercury all right and then let's see what else do we have here in email oh this is cool this is a common one to you guys um so here is the um the subject line <laughs> omg i'm really doing this and then the message is, hello, Bridget. I happened almost by accident to find your videos and I'm hooked. Did that happen to you guys? Were you Googling or searching for something else or maybe YouTube recommended this Above Life channel for you? You know, did that happen to you as well? Is that how you kind of found me kind of by accident? Which there are no accidents. Maybe it's synchronicity and alignment, right? So I'm grateful for that. Thank you. Um, and then the person goes on to say, I never searched out anything spiritual before. And now I'm wondering why not? Maybe something to do with moving last year, maybe getting older, all, all this seems to be happening rather fast. And then they go on to say, I'm so excited to send this email, even if you don't have time to read it. <laughs> I do read in the them, you guys. And and then goes on to say, I think I'm on a new path. It's all new to me. At least I think it is. So kind of a cool thing. And then there's more. She talks about more stuff here too. So I wanted to share that as well. Uh, let's see, another email. Let's see, I got another one here. Yeah, there's a couple more. Let me jump over to, um, let's go to YouTube and actually read some of the comments on YouTube. Should we do that? Let's do that. I also actually, I've been asked about social media. I am on social media right now. It's just Facebook, but I will be changing that in 2020. I'm gonna be moving outward into another social media option. I try to only, um, for social media, the only reason I'm, I'm just on, Facebook is because that's like the easiest one to do right now for me and I don't want to overcommit and then not be able to see or connect, you know? So I'm really going to be careful about that even though I know it would really probably help spread the word about Above Life Channel. I, I want to be where I can provide quality content or connection, you know? I'm kind of fussy about that. All right, so I'm logging into YouTube. You guys are going to see me um, respond to question or uh, comments uh, for the first time here because I haven't logged in at all this morning yet. And so let's go in. Ooh, okay, so let's see. Oops. Let's go to comments. This week I put up three different videos. My initial intent with Above Life Channel was to share one channeling video every week, and but two videos overall. So I wanted to do like a, maybe a supplemental video or a chat video or that kind of thing, or a question video, response video. And I've been trying though when I can to do two channeling videos every week. And so hopefully, yeah, that's been, I've been pretty good about that. But, but initially it's like, I commit for sure to one every, a new one every single week, so. So you have that to look forward to and I upload on Mondays, Monday morning by 9 a.m. Central Time. 
All right, so here we go. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that little bell thing. And YouTube's not always great about it. You don't always get the notices, but make sure you do that if you wanna make sure that you are, don't forget, like if you're out on your morning run or if you're at work and you wanna take your break and watch it or whatever, or listen to it, then make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell next to it to make sure you get notifications, okay? That's a thing, I guess. So, all right, so here we go. I got some new ones today. Oh, this is really sweet. All right, this is from Linda, and she says, and this was just 12 minutes ago, and it says, another great channel, Hollywood. So hard on female actors. Then, she's referring to the channeling video for Erin Moran, who was Joni on Happy Days. I did that one a while ago, and I just didn't know when to share it or how to share her stuff, because it wasn't super like uplifting, to be honest. And um, so she says, I'm not sure even now. Wow, I felt tears for her. I can't help but wonder what their soul contract was about. And she says, I'm binge watching you today in my bed with coffee. Next one. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. Oh, here's one. Here's one that's not so positive. Pray for this woman. She's not well. <laughs> Okay, next. All right, let's see. Let's let's remove that one. All right, so funny. All right. Um, ah, here we go. This one says, um, I get a lot of requests for a lot of different channels um, to, to review a lot of different people, as you know. This one says, could you channel Tupac and Biggie Smalls? I want to know if they're both okay. I'm hopefully not beefing and hopefully not beefing with each other. Laugh out loud. I know you probably won't do it, but I think it would be interesting. It would be interesting. And I have um, wanted to, I, I do feel Tupac for sure, but because of the connections with gangs, I just don't feel like I can do it. I don't think it would be smart for me to do that. I don't think it would be safe for me to do that. And so I'm not gonna do that, but I can tell you that both of them are okay. They are okay in the afterlife. And no, they're not fighting with each other. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so here's another one. Let's see, okay, here's two comments from the same person. Here's another one requesting me to channel somebody. Um, let's see. I don't even, I, see this is the thing you guys. Sometimes you ask me to channel people I've never even heard of. No idea who these people are. So this person says, please channel Greg and or Dwayne Allman. Oh, like the Allman brothers, I think that's what this is. Talk about overcoming the tragedy of the death and his beloved brother Dwayne, 24 years old and turning his life completely around. So she goes on to share all about this person these two people, like a lot, like there's one, two, three. Okay, I'm not gonna read all this. There's three paragraphs about that. And then there's another um, PS comment. This is from Jolene. Um, I also feel like I know you, but that's because I grew up in South Dakota and my family comes from Minnesota, St. Paul and rural Minnesota areas. Thank you, Bridget, and yes, I have blonde hair too. <laughs> See you guys. All right, here's another one. Love your work and authentic self. Dr. Anne Marie, thank you. Let's like that one. Let's see. Oh, here's one from Charlotte. She is saying, it's so sad, Rob K. She's responding to the Rob, Robert, the channeling of Robert Kardashian. And she says, it's so sad, Rob K. Jr out of all the children just was at this time unable to recover from losing his dad. And then she goes on to talk about Bruce and then he talks about some a little bit of drama. Um, he was supposed to be the great motivational coach and yet Rob just complained is what she's saying, so. Um, I said I was gonna read these, so I'm just gonna read them for what they are. Although I won't use any kind of like cuss words or anything like that because it's not YouTube friendly. I just wanna check my time, okay. Hope this video isn't too boring for you guys. I'm just reading comments live. 
All right, so thanks for sharing your comment, Charlotte. Here's another one from DC's girl. When spirits are being reincarnated, do they get to choose what body they go to? Hmm, that's an interesting question. I would say, I'm not sure, I'd have to ask. I think I'd have to ask, that's a good question. Probably yes would be what I would think, but we would have to ask to find out. All right, so then another one from Gracie, um, responding to Erin Moran's video. She was in American Graffiti. I did not know that. Well, let's respond to Gracie and say thanks for adding. Thanks for adding to the video. And thanks for watching. See, when people add stuff, it's like it helps. It helps enhance the quality of the experience for others. I appreciate that. All right. So here's another one for um, Butterfly Comb. Everybody's handles are so interesting, aren't they? Here are a lot of people, again, Erin Moran's video, because this is the one that I recently did. That's why I'm just going right down the list here, you guys. Here are a lot of people I would like for you to channel. And then she lists a ton, tons of them. So I'm not gonna read them all, but there you go. See, I read your comments. Then I have one from Satin Lace 12003, uh, Lily Monster, on my Lily Monster Yvonne De Carlo video. And the reason why I focused it on the Lily Monster time, you guys, is because that's how I know her. That's how I knew her. That was like my genre, right? My generation. Um, Satin Lace is saying she died of heart failure. She had two sons. One died. One one has died. One in living. She made over a hundred movies. One in which she played the wife of Moses in the Ten Commandments. Thank you, Satin Lace. I'm gonna give her a like on that. Then I have one from Trisha on my authentic video that says, "Ah, I love you and your work. I'm never bored." Oh, that's so sweet. Let's give her a big heart. Here's another one from um, Maureen on the same authentic video. I enjoy your videos. And on one hand, I understand that talking about one's death experience seems to be uncommon in all readings I've ever watched. Or who kills them? I don't understand that. In the afterlife, their souls get, get it all, but those of us living our lives today do not. She is right on that. I wish more channeling videos from you and others would press that question. A lot of people fear death and no matter their faith or lack of it, and I'm one of those people. I am spiritual but not religious and I look for signs all the time that my loved ones in spirit are checking in with me and my heart says they are, but mediums like you probably have no, have no such doubts and could be helpful to those of us that can't see, touch, or speak with our deceased loved ones. You are right, my dear. I'd like that to be a focus in your videos from time to time at least. I am also sure it would be com comfort for anyone who sees death staring in the face from whatever illness brought to bear. Can you speak to this? Thank you. You are very blessed. Um, I'm trying to figure out what she means by talking about their death experience. Oh, that she wants me to focus more on the moment of their death and what that was like for them or the transition into the afterlife, what that was like. Maybe Maureen or you guys can also comment on that. I should ask more about the death experience from the perspective of the spirit, you know? And I mean, I don't always do that. It really just depends on the video, I guess. I guess that's probably what she's asking, to do that more. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, and then let's see. Okay, let's do, you guys, let's do this just for fun, not fun. Fun, not fun. Oh my gosh, I don't actually have any held, held comments right now. Um, a lot of times I will have icky comments, which is okay, because I don't want you guys to have to listen to that, but I would, I would have told you the ones that are held and they're usually held because people are swearing at me and telling me how awful I am and um, how awful they think I am, let's say that. And usually people are recommending that I read the Bible 
and and get to know Jesus. And I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And then there are also some that are very vulgar and um, not content specific at all, but just like personal. So that's kind of weird. Like if somebody doesn't really have anything substantive to say really, they usually will do like a personal attack, like comment on my teeth. Um, because you know, you guys know I wear in uh, liners, like invisible braces. Right now I don't have them in, but I do. And so, or my hair, or tell me, oh, here's another one. Okay, so here's one that I get sometimes, which is so weird. There's actually two really strange ones that I get, but one is about like Botox or plastic surgery or something. You guys, please. I have wrinkles, watch. See, look at these wrinkles. Look at these little smile lines right here, you guys. Look at that. If I had Botox, these would be gone. And I don't have fillers or anything like that. I just have, I have high cheekbones. See, I do. Yeah, there you go. It's hereditary. All right, and my forehead. Yeah, I guess I don't have a lot. Of, I kind of do if I scrunch. I have lines up here and stuff. So I am closer to 50 than I am to 40. Let's say that. <laughs> so maybe eventually I would, you know, need some more of that. I do, and I have bags under my eyes sometimes here in the morning and stuff. So no, I don't do Botox. Somebody, I think, um, I had a couple of, I've had a couple of comments over the past two months actually about too much Botox or, um, comments about the way I look as though I'm altering the way I look, like I'm changing my appearance. I'm like, no, the only thing I'm changing is today because of all those beauty influencers. I did my makeup different. And like I have, you know, a highlighter, a little bit of highlighter, a little bit of blush on and all on my lips and stuff. And I changed my hairstyle, but I change my hairstyle all the time. Like if you've known me forever, you know I change my hairstyle like once a year usually. I'll grow it longer and then I'll cut it all off and I'll change it around because I just like to do that. So right now I'm like enjoying wearing it like this and some days I wear it down in like pixie and I have a different length so I can kind of chop. I could put it all straight in my face. I could do a lot of different things because I get bored. I like variety. So yeah, whatever. And you guys really, I'm not offended by it because it doesn't, there's like, it doesn't really matter because it's just not informed, you know, like it's not, like they don't know me, so it's okay. It's, it doesn't really hurt me. I mean, in the beginning of having my channel, so I've had my channel for a year and a half now, it was like hard to deal with that stuff. I'm like, why are these people being so mean? And now I'm like, oh, it's really not, it's really not about me at all. So, you know, I try to let it go. Probably the comments that are the most um, sticky for me or difficult for me are probably the ones where people compare me to other channels and assuming like there's this level of competition. Like, okay, going back to beauty influencers, if you watch the drama, there's so much drama like in the beauty community and YouTuber land and also even like in Hollywood, like there's so much drama, you know, that it kind of comes into YouTube a little bit, even with like my channel. I'm like, what? You guys, I have like 11,000 subscribers. So there are channels that have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers that do this work that we that we all do. You know, we work in the same industry, but I'm not coming for anybody. Like I don't, whatever, like I don't need to be famous. That's not my thing. I just wanna do what I like to do. I wanna be a creative. I wanna share and share content. And I love to create my videos and I just, I like this. This is fun for me. I enjoy this because I know I'm making a difference. I know when I get, I get, you guys, I get emails and comments from people that say I inspire them. I help them through their day, whether they're dealing with like health issues or they're dealing with just, you know, tough relationships or they're a mom or a single mom and they have lots going on and I just help them pick them up or get them, you know, to think about things differently. I love that. Like that is why I'm here because I love that. I like to create the videos and share that. I just love it. And I know it's meaningful. It feels great for me to do that. So 
Yeah, so that's why I'm here. So uh, that's probably the hardest, those are probably the hardest comments to get when people are recommending other people to watch other people because it was pretty clear to me in the last couple months that there was another channel who's, um, I don't know if it was people that actually worked for the channel or if it was just a group of really loyal followers of viewers of that particular channel came to my channel and started to try to go reply to all my comments about anything and trying to put that other channel name into mine. So it's kind of like marketing a channel through another channel in the comments, which is not an above board thing to do. And so, and people who are viewers of channels sometimes can get so fiercely loyal that they will just do that themselves, you know? And so that's kind of tricky, like I wouldn't do that, but somebody that watches my channel might, and I would hope you guys, if you guys, I mean, how do I say this? Don't do that to other channels with my name, please. <laughs> I don't know if you do, I hope you don't because that's not, to me, that's just not very much an integrity and that doesn't feel very nice. Let, that, let other people do their own channeling in a variety of ways, in a variety of channel sizes and let me do my channeling and you can enjoy them all. That's totally great. That's lovely. There's not really competition as far as I'm concerned. It's all love and shared in mutual connection through love energy. And so it's fine, you guys. There's plenty of fish in the sea and there's plenty of room in the sea to swim around. So let everybody just do their thing, you know? It's fine, you guys. All right, so with that, I wanna say thank you. Gosh, you guys, I feel so grateful. Some days, ugh, it is hard to like, sit here as a solo entrepreneur by myself in my kitchen, which is where I am at on this gloomy day right now. It's really dreary outside. And just going through my emails, going through my stuff, just it picks me up when you guys share, share with me stuff like that, like your personal stories and positive comments and great questions, like ask questions. That's totally cool to do that and share additional details. And, and I'm not always right not even close and so if you need to correct me you can correct me be polite please but you can correct me that's completely completely allowable here <laughs> okay so geez i mean just thank you i just wanted to say that thank you very very much for the support of the channel it's it's fun to see more subscribers it's fun to see the likes and the comments and most importantly, it really gives me encouragement to be able to share more stuff that I want to share with the world and just really show up more fully in my authenticity, just being myself, you know. So there you go. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, I hope that we've inspired your spirit, filled you with hope. But remember, this is your life. This is your life. So live it. Just live it. Thank you for watching.